expect a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't know, move it like Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return time. for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so Conor McGregor is back tonight with much fanfare. His appetite and his competitive spirit for mixed martial arts competition remains. And for Alexander Volkanovsky, you only get the shot once usually against the biggest name in the sport. We'll see what he can do with it. He has got to get it done tonight. You've got to take advantage of your opportunities. But Conor McGregor is more than a marquee matchup. He is a former double champion, and that has elevated the sport to the next level. And he has a piston of a left hand. He's so fast, he's so smooth, and he's so confident in his ability that he thinks he can knock anyone out. He intends to knock Volkanovski out tonight. All right, so we will see early on how the Volk man chooses to proceed. And no surprise to see Volkanovski go to the leg kicker. I mean, we have seen this constantly with Alexander Volkanovski, especially in the first Max Holloway fight. He won the fight behind the leg kicks. He is so smart inside of the octagon that he will throw these leg kicks, not hard, but they draw something out of you, and then he starts to attack you with things that have more force. This guy's tremendous, and that is why he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. 
Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after two. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the man to a team. Whatever you set out to run him, he is going to do it, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Missed with that attempt. Back and forth we go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, a nice straight there by Volkanovski. Just misses with the jab there. Nice job by him defensively there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Volkanovski gets tagged by a solid uppercut there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side of... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to chase down that kick. Now we're going. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Push kick there to the bottom. Submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh man, what a strike from the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkan. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Big ground and pound. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. This is a terrible position. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, you see. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, beating the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Ooh, it's tight. Still trying to get the submission here. Now he goes belly down. He turns down to try to get all of his weight on that arm. Good night. Five minutes in the books. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly Good. under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you got to be very aware against this guy, or he's going to catch you in something that you can't get out of. All right, so here we go. Next round is underway. It looked like maybe oh, two straight right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Overhand punch to the head. Blocked, though, by McGregor. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better.
better than most fighters. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway. Oh, oh he is hurting for certain. Volkanovski strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, nice kick. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Connor. Oh, nice jab by Volkanovski. And that is loud. Another strike. That hook again now. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. That gets worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment for this opponent. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. McGregor is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Volkanovski's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Straight punches we've seen all night. Two straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Two minutes remain in the round. Both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Oh, McGregor's eye appears to be closing up by the second. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters in both. Oh, he slams him down with authority. Looks like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Oh, we might get a stoppage here soon. Oh, I hope he gets it. That guillotine is officially tight. Oh, he's out. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Under 20 seconds now to go. Posture. Oh, he's got to start throwing down. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fighter in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going there. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opens up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's gotta get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, 
Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Ready. Third round on the way. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. And those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both did and they both gave it. They both gave it. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. That leg kick lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Now he's going full bump. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Oh. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. up a triangle now you set off the top his go-to submission looks pretty tight to me oh and if he's got you in there then you know that you're in a lot of trouble the oh! Alexander, the great. <laughs> well everybody in this arena still digesting this result what a win for him tonight and he gets it done by submission no less he said he was going to get it done by submission to watch that we call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. We get the official decision with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 44 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Alexander the Great All right, so Alexander Volkanovsky gets it done, and he gets it done by submission. I mean, this dude just continues to add wrinkles to his game and kind of starting to lap.